Hey guys, it's Hannah. Please leave your comments below about how much you love this hack because I am obsessed with it. But today I'm going to talk about what is it like living with bipolar 2 or bipolar depression because I get asked this question all the time or like what has life been like living with it? But I've been trying to find a way to explain it, like an example or something. And I was taking a stroll today. That's why it's kind of loud now, because I'm outside. Well, duh. But it kind of hit me when I came across this construction site that I've grown up near my whole entire life. This was an abandoned lot. And before this, there was this withered away, depressing, really old school bus station. And they tore it down because they were going to build this, wanted to build something better. But what happened is, is like the economy dropped, like all of these obstacles came into play and they couldn't build. And then one day I walked by and there was a truck here and there were workers here. And then the next day it was like one brick on top of the other. And I think that if you really think about it, it has a lot to do with what it's like living with a mental health condition in general. And I'll explain it better now because everybody's looking at me. Hey y'all. I know it's me again, with an emoji hat. Okay, and we're back. I had to take off my emoji hat and move around the corner. But, okay, so how a construction site kind of relates to what it's like living with bipolar disorder, what my life has been like, is that, well, when I left the ho mental hospital and I received my diagnosis, I was empty, you know? I was like an abandoned lot where something epic could have been built, but just never got off the ground, like that construction site that we saw. And every day is a challenge and some days are different. But at one point I started building my foundation, placing one brick on top of the other, just representing something small or something big. And some days I don't place bricks there at all, but it's a constant work in progress to build this strong foundation. You know, if you want a different answer, if you don't get the example, it's it's having bipolar living with it it's a challenge and it's extreme and there's no middle you're never content you content you can always do better your mind is constantly going and it would made me really insecure for a while because my perception of life and the ideas i have are a bit wild sometimes and i felt like people maybe looked at me like i was weird that's the best example because to be honest with you, it's nearly impossible to explain what it's like living with bipolar. It's like, what is, what is it like living without bipolar? How do you explain that? And you know I love examples and analogies, so if you've got one about what it's like living with a mental health condition, please comment below. So thanks for tuning in as always, and I can't wait to see you Monday. Bye.